Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature inside of Copilot for Dynamics 365 customer service that will allow agents to generate a knowledge article draft directly from a salt case or while they're in the process of solving the case. I will show you how you can enable this and also how exactly it works. So here's how this works. So you can see here, I'm working on this case. I have talked to the customer and I entered a note showing all the different things that I did trying to resolve this case. So now that this case is done, I'm gonna click here on resolve case. And as you can see here, we now have this checkbox that says propose new knowledge article for this case. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna say, this is done. I'm gonna click on resolve. This is going to now close my case, but look what it does as well. It now actually puts together that new knowledge article based on the information in that case. And you can see here mainly the information in those notes that I have in there. So what you can do from here is obviously you can put some instructions in here, right? So you can see there's an example here, add info about the warranty window, blah, blah, blah. So I can revise this with instructions and then click on this button over here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click here on revise. and it's not really doing a lot, but let's just say that this looks good to me. I can then go ahead and click on create proposal. And this is now, as you can see here, is creating that knowledge article. So from here, I can review it. And let's just give it a second here. There we go. So here you can see all of the, that content that you saw Copilot offered up uh, right as I was trying to create that article. Now, the other way that I can actually uh, get a knowledge article is not just during the resolution of a case, but I can go to a case that is resolved, right? This I just resolved this case. And as you can see, there's this new button on here that says propose new knowledge. So I can go ahead and click on that. And that is now doing the same thing, right? It's now going to look at that data in that case. You can see here, it's now giving me some more information. And then I can cr create that knowledge article from here. So that's how that works. Now, there is something that you need to do first. Let me just discard this, discard. But you need to enable this functionality, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can do that. So you're gonna to go to the Customer Service Admin Center, and then uh, you can see Knowledge below here, the Agent Experience, so you can click on that. And you can see here the knowledge creation with that little AI co-pilot icon on there as well. So from here, you can say, I wanna manage those changes. And this is where you can enable this, right? So you can let agents use Copilot. So this is just enabling it. And what you're doing here is what, when you saw me try to resolve that case, that option to propose that knowledge article will be set to yes, right? It will be checked by default. So if you don't want to do that, then you want to uncheck that. Now, the other thing that I want to mention here is what you see here regarding agent access. You can see it says agents added to out of the box experience profiles can use Copilot to create these knowledge articles from a case. Um, so what this means is that if you have your own agent experience profiles that you create it, you need to add it there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and visit those agents profiles and you can see here I actually created a custom one here so if I open up my custom profile here let's just give it a second all right and then you scroll all the way down these are where those copilot AI features 
are that you can then configure. So if you click here and edit, this is that knowledge creation section, right? If you want your agents to be able to do that, you would actually enable that here on your custom profiles and then assign that to agents and then they can start uh, working with that. So that's how that works. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.